Hey guys, today is June the 24th of 2018 and I wanted to make a sequel to the GAN Theory Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence video I did. I uh, got a lot of positive feedback, a lot of people like that, so I figure I'd show you some more uh, interesting things to uh, watch and learn and get knowledge on. Uh, before I do that, I wanted to show you a book I got a month ago. Mathematics, Illustrated History of Numbers. I got it from uh, Books a Million. And I got it new for like $9.99. It's a great book. It covers everything about mathematics through the history, uh, or anything from learning to count, uh, math and music, uh, logic, platonic solids, geometry. I'm looking at measuring the earth, the power of 10. Uh, the modern calendar, uh, numbering, Hindu numbering system, algebra, Fibonacci sequence. I mean, it goes on and on. It's a great book. It's a great resource. It's a great book to uh, learn how things develop in mathematics and maybe something you could use in your trading strategy, you know, back testing. You know, it's all about being curious and learning new things and testing things pretty much. Uh, in order for you to kind of get an edge to see if things work if see if things don't work and then keep moving on to something that gives you an edge and you find a pattern that you back test it and if you see some good positive results then why not test it you know and trade it live uh, so that's a book I recommend as you can see on Amazon the prices and uh, something for you and your downtime to uh, learn uh, and get yourself filled up with knowledge I'm going to talk about E.P. Chan. He's a quantitative trader. He uh, has his, He works in a hedge fund. Uh, he's worked for IBM. He's worked for Morgan Stanley. You can read his bio. Very smart individual. Uh, he has a video on YouTube, Dr. Ernest Chan, speech at EPAT. It's a convention for aspiring quants, quantitative traders using machine learning. And in this video, he talks about uh, the challenges um, and the possibilities in regards to uh, trading using machine learning. He quotes this, uh, I recommend it, it's only 16 minutes long. He quotes this gentleman named David E. Shaw. David E. Shaw if you look at his picture there to the right, he's an American investor. He's a computer scientist. He's a hedge fund manager, and his company is called D.E. Shaw & Company. His hedge fund company, which was once described by Fortune magazine as the most intriguing and mysterious force on Wall Street. David is 67 years old. His net worth is $6.2 billion dollars as of 2018 this is his company right here this guy has access to the best computers in the world the smartest people in the world to make money and this is what he says quantitative trading became more challenging with every passing year. This is a billionaire saying that quantitative trading every year it gets harder and harder. It's possible but it's getting harder and harder to squeeze out money out of the markets. This is another video of Dr. Ernie Chan titled Machine Learning for Quantitative Trading Webinar with Dr. Ernie Chan. Here he talks about where he learned machine learning, his peers, who he worked with and, and, and uh, uh, did research and used machine learning and uh, smart people, mathematicians, and his peers who he was surrounded with left where they, whatever they were doing and were, went to work uh, for Wall Street 
uh, for hedge funds, you know, institutions. And then they came to a conclusion, you know what? And this is just me paraphrasing. Why, paraphrasing, why work for these people? Let's just uh, get together, group up, and let's make, let's make one of our own. And and then and, you know and make the money all ourselves instead of you know getting paid and working for other people and that's what they did. This one individual created Renaissance Technologies, and they say is and it's a private hedge fund. They say is one of the best in the world. Uh, they have the highest fees, so they charge you an arm and a leg, but they make you money. And here he talks about his success, his failures why things didn't work uh, and, and it's it's fascinating it's an eye-opener it just shows you what's what goes on in quantitative trading it's 56 minutes long and Dr. Ernie Chan is amazing he has books he, he teaches you about machine learning and quantitative finance uh, and and so on so I recommend you watch this video I think he was talking about, I don't know if in this video that, that I just showed you, uh, but he talks about the people involved there. And this is Jim Simmons, the guy on the left. He's an American mathematician. He's a billionaire hedge fund manager. He's uh, also known as a quantitative investor. In 1982, he founded Renaissance Technology. It's a private, private hedge fund based in New York. This gentleman is 80 years old. His net worth is $20 billion as of 2018. This guy is smart. He's a mathematician, so it kind of reminds me of Gann. Uh, and he created this Renaissance Technology hedge fund, and he surrounded himself with the best of the best. And this is a video, an interview of him uh, on TED Talks you don't know about TED Talks, I, re I recommend you subscribe, either on podcast, on YouTube. You will learn something every day if you never knew about it on TED Talks. The title is A math Mathematician Who Cracked Wall Street, Jim Simmons. I'm going to give you some time timelines to, once you watch the video, to go back to these timelines and listen to what he said. The first one is... Uh, 12 minutes and 53 seconds. He talks about um, machine learning, that that's what they use. So to sum it up, he uses machine learning. He gets a lot of data. He gets the most data. Wherever he could get data, he goes all the way back. And this is what Gan said. Get all the data you could get. Uh, well, Gan didn't have machine learning. This is something he had to do on his own back then. But get all the data you could get. These guys get the data, they clean it out, they run it through the machine learning algorithms, they uh, search for anomalies and patterns, and once they find a pattern that it's not random and it's not noise, but it happens as a cycle, they backtest it, and if it's possible to make money, they go ahead and put money and invest on it, sum it all up. Another time note, time signature I want you to get. Uh, which is 16 minutes and 10 seconds. The secret was right there. They asked him, what are you using? And he says, we use mathematicians, we use astronomers, and we use physicists. So right there, they're using math. Astronomy is looking at the heavens for cycle patterns. And when I mean the heavens, that's just really open. That's but since you're a Gannis, you know what he's talking about. And physicist. So that was the secret that he divulged right there. He just let go and didn't say much about it, and that's it. But as a Gannis, you already got two of them, which is math and astronomy and physicist. So to sum it up, because I want to make this video, you know, under 10 minutes. These are the people that use machine learning and use the heavens and use math to trade and find patterns to make money. And it's becoming harder and harder as computers are getting better and better and more of these people, these rich billionaires and institutions are using this. So this is what you're up against. 
So using GAN theory and machine learning to find the patterns and cycles and this data could give you an edge. It's not going to be easy, but if you stick to it, you can have an edge. I'm going to sign out. Hope this video helps. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts.